everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. I am so excited. Just this week, so Monday I think, the envelope and bow creator finally came back in stock. It has been gone, I mean it was released in the fall, everyone was kind of like, huh, what does this do? Someone demoed it and then suddenly they flew off the shelves so stinking fast. So they only just now came back in stock and now you guys can buy them. And I thought, well, now that they're back, I can finally show one of the cool hacks that I learned. And I can't wait to show it to you and I hope you guys like it. To complete this project, you will need the Creative Memories Envelope and Bow Creator, some scrap pieces of cardstock, or you can use a full sheet if you like. You'll need a um, tape runner. You need the regular tape runner, not repositionable. You could also probably use photo tape. And then you might need your trimmer, depending upon the size of your scraps. Now you guys all saw me demonstrate the envelope and bow creator when it first came out and I thought, hey, this is nifty, this is cool, um, eh, maybe not for me, maybe for me, but then I saw my upline, Leslie Tice, use this and she used it for something other than bows and I was like, oh, this is awesome, this is amazing, I can't wait to try it. So the first thing we're going to need is a sheet of paper that is three inches by two inches. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull out my trimmer here. I believe this is a three inch square. So I just need to take one inch off one side. All right. So now I have a three inch by two inch uh, rectangle. You can use your, um, scoring blade and score it in half or you can just fold it over and you're folding it so that it is um, long and not fat if that makes sense. So I am just folding it over, meeting the corners together, giving it a crease. So again we want a long rectangle not a fat one. Once you have folded it, now you're going to unfold it and you should have a nice crease down the middle of your little rectangle. Now I'm going to pull out my envelope and bow creator and I'm going to be using the notch punch that is built into the corner of the tool. So you're going to slide the paper in so that the little little plastic nub here is going to line up with the crease that you made in the center of your paper. So you can slide this in rest it on the little shelf in the back, slide it back and forth until the nub lines up with your crease. All right, so that looks good to me. Give it a punch. Then you're going to give it a um, 180 degree turn so that you have the other side, still can see your crease, and you're gonna do the same thing. All right, and just like that, so you're like, what did I just make? Well, if you fold it, you have now created a tab. So simple, so easy. So if you are going to adhere this, you're gonna wanna put your regular tape runner all along the base of both sides of your tab. And you can put a little in the middle as well. And then when you find a piece of paper that needs a tab, whoopsies, you can just gently close it. So how cute is this little feature? So what would you use a tab for? Well, there's lots of different things. I created these five by seven cards, like note cards. It's very um, faint, but I wrote painted garden, serene waters on the farm. So if I wanted to pull out this bin, I could organize my, um, my variety map pack cards. So I've got on the farm in the back, then 
So let's throw in some serene water. I'm sorry. Throw in my like painted garden. So I've made personalized um, dividers for my organization. Now, you know, I use my um, I use my uh, power sort box to do that. So what else could you use these for? On the reverse side, flip these over. I've actually made tabs using um, the actual color of cardstock. So I've got purple ice, canary, dark green. So if I were to put these in my box, I can then file away my different, um, file away my different pieces of scraps so that they're easy to find. Now, if you were doing, um, <clears throat> you could, you don't have to be specific to the actual name of your cardstock color. It could be just um, purple, yellow, green. Um, but I went ahead and did it for all of them. Now, when there's just a few things in this box, they don't hold up very well. But once I start filling it up, these um, dividers are going to be perfect. So this is a five by seven card that I cut out and then added the tab to. Um, but you don't have to use the tabs just for organizing. They can play a really fun role in your scrapbooks as well. So a couple weeks ago, I created this layout using the painted garden papers. Um, what if I wanted to add a little zhuzhing to my um, layouts? So here I've got my tabs. I actually cut these in half because I wasn't going to be using them for actual tab purposes. They didn't need to be thick. Um, so I cut them. I can show you how I do that here in a second. But then you can tuck these behind your photos. And they give you a really cute journaling spot. You can even layer them if you want. Having that sort of look. And you can adjust. Um, I found that the 3 by 2 rectangle worked best for having actual labels. But of course you could adjust the size of your, um, your, your tabs as needed for whatever project you're doing. So you can just like tuck those in here. Cute little labeling point. Maybe one there. These work especially well when you're using a dark background that's going to be hard to write on. So now I've given myself a nice little space that's going to be easy to write um, some caption information. So it's super simple to cut these once they're done if you want a thinner, more streamlined look. So let's see, this scrap is right at three, perfect. So I'm making myself another three by two rectangle. All right, I'm folding that in half again. Then I'm gonna open it up using my crease mark, lining up with that nub, flipping it. So I can get the same crease. And now instead of folding it back and having like a nice sturdy tab, I'm just gonna bring it over to my trimmer. And again, I'm using that crease line to mark my middle point. I'm using the, the dotted line on my trimmer to help find the middle. And now I've got two um, sort of more streamlined tabs that'll be great for my layouts. It would also really be fun to use these tabs um, if we were putting them on a peekaboo pocket to give you like a, a holding point to, to flip those on and off. Um, any of our, uh, any memorabilia that you're gonna be pulling in and out, give it a pull point. Uh, the options are really endless for these tabs, and I'm really excited to start incorporating them into my projects.
Who knew? I mean, I love these little tabbies, don't you guys? They're so versatile. They're so much fun. Not only are they useful for organizing, but they make great little decorative pieces. And I think with some experimenting, where'd all my little tabs go? We could probably like layer them, um, you know, make one slightly shorter before you tab it. Um, and then you can get sort of an outline look. Oh, I should have tried that in the video. Why am I just now thinking that? Oh, well, anyways, um, <clears throat> I'd love to see what you guys are doing with this method. Are you using it for strictly organizing? Are you using it for strictly decorative? Um, I think that the, the, the uses are endless. So thanks again to my upline, Leslie Tice, for this amazing idea. Um, if you guys want more ideas or just want to, you know, keep in touch, make sure you're checking out my Facebook and Instagram. I'm posting daily content there and it's the best way to reach me one-on-one -on -one because they have a handy dandy message button. Um, if you are looking for even more inspiration, then come to one of my classes. I have in-person and virtual events. Um, so there's really something out there for everybody. And last but not least, if you see anything in this video, that you want and you just have to have, make sure you check out my Creative Memories website. It is the best place for all of your CM purchases. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> all right, excuse me. Um, I guess that's it for this week. It was, you know, short and to the point, just the way we all like it. So I look forward to seeing you guys all again next week. Bye.